Let's learn how to change sprite images with script in Unity. I'm going to show you how I made the faces of my planets randomly change in my new game. With what I'm going to teach you, you can have as many sprite changes as you want, and you'll be able to use this for lots of different use cases. But let's dive in. Here's what my game looks like currently. Everything is working, but all of the planets have the same expression. I felt like having the planet's facial expressions change would be a really nice touch. So here's a bird's eye view of all of my sprites that are in my game right now. I made all of these in Figma in a previous devlog if you want to see how I did it, but what I've done for this video is just duplicate the main sprite and make different expressions for each of the planets. And you can have as many or as little as you want. They can have different expressions, one could have 10 and the other have 2, doesn't matter, but all of mine have 3. After getting those exported, I'm just going to create a folder inside Unity to hold all of these sprites. And with that out of the way, we can create the script that will hold all of this logic. I'm just going to name it Sprite Changer. This is a surprisingly simple script, and we're only working with about four lines of code. For my use case, I want the sprites to change on collision, so I won't need the start or update methods here, so let's just remove these. The first thing I need is a place to store all of the potential sprites. So for this one, we'll have a serialize field. This just means that it's a private variable, but you can see it in the inspector. And then we're storing sprites here, so we need a data type of sprite. And then I want this to be able to hold multiple sprites, so it needs to be an array. So I'm just putting brackets right next to it. And finally, I'm just going to call this planet sprites. The second thing I need is a place to store the current sprite that is visible. So I'm just going to add another variable with a type of sprite and name it new sprite. Now I made a mistake here. The second one should really be a private variable instead of a serialized field because there's no reason for us to see it in the inspector. Now I want the faces to change when the planet collides with something, anything. So I'm going to call the onCollisionEnter 2D method and if you hit tab, it will autofill with the defaults. Since I want a random sprite to change, what I can do is set my new sprite variable to a random sprite in the planet sprites array. And I can do that with random.range. So we'll say new sprite is equal to planet sprites random.range zero and then planet sprites dot length. All we're saying here is take a random sprite from this array and then we're inputting the bounds of the array. So it starts at index zero and ends at however many items are in the array. And with our random sprite chosen, we just need to push this to the sprite renderer that's on the game object so that we can actually see it. So we'll say game object dot get component sprite renderer dot sprite is equal to new sprite. And that is it. The rest is done in the editor. Now we just need to add this script to all of our planet objects. So I have nine prefabs that I've already made for this project, but if you have a script that you need on a bunch of objects, you can actually just select them all and then go down to add component and search for your script and it will add it to everything that's selected. It's pretty nice when you need it, and with it still selected, you can do other bulk actions. Like here, I'm adding three objects to each of my arrays. Now just comes the tedious task of adding all of the sprites where I want them on each of the planets. That took me a solid 10 minutes to do, but after that's done, that is it. And when I hit play, you can see that anytime the planets collide with something, their faces change, and it really adds a lot to the game. If you want to see the whole devlog, click on this next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.